morning, it is Tuesday and I am on my own in the house. Everybody is back where they should be. Dan is in the office today in London. Phoebe has gone back to school. She's still a bit snotty, but she's feeling a hundred times better. And Lilia is back at college. So I've been out and about doing a bit of shopping and running some errands and generally trying to get rid of the boxes of remaining decorations and put them up. So you've probably seen a bit of that already, depending on how I've edited all this together. Uh, I am not, I'm going to admit, feeling very Christmassy. It is the 6th of December and already, uh, and, and still I, I, I don't know, I'm just not getting that Christmas vibe just yet. I don't know if it's because I still feel there's so much to do, so I can't relax into it yet. So I went for a little shop this morning, which I don't do often, and just listened to the Christmas music playing in the shops and had a good look around. And that did help. It was it was kind of fun to not really have to rush and just be able to mooch about like that. So I might try and do that again. So I enjoyed that kind of relaxed shopping and just spotting the odd thing that I might buy for somebody for Christmas. And I've been making some stars. Thank you, everybody. My goodness, I said yesterday I'm closing my shop on Friday. And that anyone who would want one, I'd pop in one of my little paper stars. And so many of you popped over to my shop to order things. And that was so, so lovely of you. Thank you for supporting uh, that side of what I do. I've been making some stars this morning. So I've got a little box full of them here. They're all different types of... Uh, I've got a whole stack of Christmas amig amigurumi always obsessed with crochet, <laughs> origami paper. So I've got like this kind, and I've got little silver Christmas trees. Oh, that nearly went in my tea. It didn't though. Someone would have got a very soggy one. Gold reindeers and green reindeers. And there's other Christmassy tree ones. There's a snowy, oh, snowy one, and a candy cane one. Oh, there's lots more, lots more beside, and I'll pop them in at random for it, and anyone that's uh, dropped me a note to let me know they would like one. Might as well just try and aim to put one in every order I get between now and Friday, I think. Oh, I just so love making these. Sitting down with some vlogmas or a podcast or something festive on the telly and making these, lovely. That should help. Maybe I'll do that a bit more later as well. That should help get me in the mood. Okay, my uh, vlog that's going to go up today is exporting, so I'm just going to go and do the thumbnail for that, and then I am going to go and open my advents on my own, undisturbed, without Phoebe here trying to steal any chocolates. <laughs> it's me again. I've just gone off to start putting up some decorations, and I found a couple of things that I put away for myself with a note to open sort of mid-November, and I completely forgot, and I hadn't set myself a reminder, uh, so I've only just found them, so it's probably a bit late now, but I thought I'd show you what I'd done. So I've got, in, in this bag here, I set up a whole uh, sock uh, project for myself, a whole Christmas sock project. So it's all in this lovely gnome bag, which was a gift a couple of years ago from Fiona. <laughs> thank you, Fiona. I don't know if you're watching, but thank you. It's got Christmas puddings on the inside. And I've got all Christmas things in here, so I've got Christmas hand cream, uh, and I've got a little snowman stitch marker from Chapel View Crafts. That was a gift from my friend Lou, as was the uh, needle holder, DPN holder. And I've got my little Christmas pouch from Coco and Flora. Love this vintage fabric. Eva at Coco and Flora makes the most exquisite things in her shop. It's lovely. So I've got all that in there and some sort of other little festive stitch markers. And then I've got some yarn that I dyed, not this summer, but the summer before. I solar dyed some yarn at the height of summer when it was one of those really hot days. And I really struggle with summer and heat and everything. So I decided to dye some Christmas yarn using the heat of the sun so that it would make me think of my preferred season of autumn and winter. And also it'd be nice to have that memory come Christmas. Uh, and this is the result. I dyed a really bright rainbow colour. And then on the cooker top, I added some grey to mute it down a bit. And I've caked it up and everything. It's falling apart a bit. But 
I'd caked it up and everything ready to go so I could make myself solar dyed Christmas socks and I'd completely forgotten about it. What a fool. It's probably too late to start a Christmas sock project now, isn't it? But I'll keep it out just in case. If not, I'll put it back and I'll make I'll set myself a reminder to look this out in early November next year. And I also found this. My friend Lily gave this to me a couple of Christmases ago. Uh, it's a special mix. I think she said the recipe is a secret and it's like, at first I thought it was potpourri. I guess it is a bit like potpourri. It looks like this. And it smells like pure Christmas. I can't even describe it. If, if Christmas had an actual essence, this is what it would smell like. It's just so festive and so warming and so wonderful. And it's actually made to go in a wax burner, which I have. Now, I put some wax in here the other day, which I bought at a local craft fair, and I couldn't stand it. I've had to get, I've had to get rid of it. It was too um, vanilla-y. I'm really fussy about wax melts because they are so strong, and it, ew, I just couldn't stand it. So that's gone, and I'm going to replace it with the gorgeous thing that I can't say from Norway. I'm sure if you are from Norway or that neck of the woods, you will know exactly what this is. So I'm gonna replace it into my wax burner, which is on this gorgeous wood turned plate that Rachel from So Ray Me made. And I, I keep my wax burner or like a candle in a, a holder on there. And then recently she sent me a little parcel of mushroom goodies which I'll talk about more on my podcast. But in, in it was these little mushrooms. So I had to have those on my little Rachel plate as well. 